What's up? Thanks for coming back through. I just want to do a really quick catch up uh, to check back in with two shoes that I reviewed that were very similar in makeup and they ended up being something I wanted to compare and contrast a bit. Um, I'll keep this one short. You've already seen the shoes, so let's get right into it. We're going to be talking about the Puma Deviate Nitro 2 and the Hoka Transport X. Now, the way Hoka has this shoe build is you wouldn't exactly put it in an elite runner category, even though it's elite runner pricing at 200 bucks. The Nitro, similar thing, pricing at $200 right about, um, uh, maybe about 180 for the elite model 200, um, but similar enough. Now, both shoes have a plate in them. Both shoes have a super critical foam and they're shaped very uh, similarly. The fit is very similar. And I took both of them to the track today. Had a great workout, did some intervals, did some stair intervals and some sprint intervals um, at a fairly good clip. Again, I'm a sprinter jumper type, a master's jumper. Um, I'm not gonna be using, I'm not ever gonna be using shoes for distance running, um, but these are the shoes that get offered. So you gotta put the work into the shoe that you have. And so uh, I wanted to compare and contrast, so I took both of them to the track today. And to my surprise, both shoes performed very well. But you probably won't believe that the Transport X is now my favorite workout shoe. Um, the Super Critical Foam has a density that's a little more stout. Um, when it comes to putting my foot down and getting that energy return, I absolutely felt it more in the Transport X, which was a complete surprise to me. Now, that's not to say that the Puma didn't perform. The Puma is lighter and faster. So when I really need to get up and go, the Puma has it hands down. But for an overall workout where I'm gonna be doing intervals, the workout's a little bit longer, I need the support and the platform, uh, the Transport X surprised me because it's being billed as an everyday runner, kind of all around usage, nothing super special about it except for that it can do it all well it can definitely do it all and then some don't shy away from this shoe being your main runner um super surprised by it go back and check out my reviews i'll link them down uh in the description so you can check out the review for both shoes uh i am going to be picking up the uh deviate nitro 2 elite um they've got a special uh, 75th anniversary of running model that i really just want to have in the collection but um yeah that's it thanks for coming back through i also want to give a quick shout out to my eyewear sponsor spectacle by atypical um atypical has been my eyewear sponsor for a very long time my guy alan tip designed eyewear for hobie under armor and others um has his own shop now with his own products but most of the eyewear that i wear come from the collection that he's designed so these are my under Armour Scepters, which are limited edition still. So, shout out to my guy, Alan Tip, Spectacle by Atypical. Check him out. We'll check you out soon. Peace.